really talk about relationships and how to develop healthy relationships. Really what that means to relate. We realize we're all related and everything is relative. But when it comes to relationships, it's really about the ability for people to relate to one another. And, and, and through this, get to know each other. Through which we're getting to know ourselves. we are really open, that's the key word here, if we are open to the experience. Because only through openness can we really come together. If we are open in how we express ourselves, how we relate ourselves to the other person, openly express ourselves, and then open to be receiving the other person, to allow them to relate themselves to us. And that can bring about oneness through openness, which is the key towards peace. And that is, it's a way of being. It's part of our personality orientation. We really begin on that, the process of our own personal development, to consciously develop our own personality, to really work, learn to work on ourselves. Of everything, right? You got to get that. Get yourself. I mean, so just get to know the purpose of life, which lies within ourselves. It has to do with not finding our purpose, the meaning of our own life, which of course is different from person to person, depending on their talents, their skills, and their interests, all of that. But then the meaning of life also is, you know, there's a great amount of confusion about that. People are not aware of what that is and say there is no meaning to life. And it's actually very, very simple. It's extremely simple. It's so simple a child knows that. And that is to live. It's the meaning of life, it's to live. The art of living. Really give birth to ourselves. Find out who am I. You know, really, who do I want to be? You know, they're photographer taking photos of these kids, right? They're working already. They don't really want to. <laughs> they're already at work. For a fashion magazine, right? You just sell clothes. You think about that. Wow, that's our part of our, you know, like, yeah, you know, people do. Who we become. And sell clothes, make clothes, and it's really, really nice, right? But <laughs> you know, we forget through this really the deeper meaning of life. Isn't that pretty superficial if you think about that? If you really think about the things that I'm talking about here, and actually, if you really begin on the process of giving your own thoughts direction, really expressing your thoughts. You can become aware of your thoughts, and you become aware of what it is you think. And you can become aware of what it is you know. And that's really the knowledge that I'm talking about here, that knowledge is power. That knowledge nobody can teach you. Nobody can give that to you. You only can find that by looking within. That's where you find the answers. That's where you find God. That's where you find truth. The 
truth of existence, the truth of your life, the truth about yourself, who you are, who you have become, all of that. Just really become aware of your own reality. To then learn how to be more real with others, how to allow other people to be real, without having the need to for them to agree with you. People play sometimes, wage against each other, but who's right and who's wrong, and mine versus yours, and what a waste of time and energy. So just imagine communication without the need to judge and to argue and to debate over who's right and who's wrong. Just listening. And so this learning, just imagine.